welcome to Feel Better Eating. This is a whole food plant-based experience that has the intention to educate you about the health benefits of eating a plant-based diet, inspire you to try a whole new recipe and new foods, and most importantly, Catherine, what is the most important part? Have fun. Have fun, <laughs> wonderful. My name is Joshua, this is Catherine, my wonderful wife and co-host. And today we do have another certified banger of a recipe. Mm -hmm. It's proven, it's trialed. We've been eating it non-stop for two weeks, maybe, <laughs> since the warmer weather began. It's yeah. perfect for that. We're excited to be joined by our live audience here in Michigan City. We're going to get into it. Catherine, welcome to the show. How are you doing? Good. Thank you, Joshua. Always a great introduction. So today we are making a plant-based pasta salad. And as Joshua said, we've been eating this almost like every night. It's great as a side dish. It's great as a whole meal on its own because it's hearty, it's fresh, and it's got a lot of flavor in it. It's easy to make. So we're going to show you how simple this can be and how you can make it plant-based plant because usually plant-based. Plant <laughs> Because usually it's with mayonnaise, and so we're going to change it up a little bit, and we're going to use plant-based ingredients. So, okay, you want to get started? Let's into get it? into it. Should we start All off right. with once the water's boiling, we'll get the noodles on. But before then, should we do the sauce or the vegetables? Mm. Do you want a bowl for it all, a big bowl? Yeah. So it's very important to have a massive bowl because you're going to be mixing it all together. I just noticed as well, though, that we're missing some of the vegetables. Off. The vegetables? Oh. Was there carrots and celery in the fridge? Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't see that, though. It was in a drawer. Um, okay. So that means we'll need a peeler and a grater. <laughs> Sorry oh. about that, guys. We thought we were ready. So, what I love about pasta salads is, is that you can put in what other, whatever vegetables you like into it. So sometimes we change it up with just what we have around the house. We don't necessarily stick to the same vegetables every single time. Are you confused about? There's no grater for the carrots. Sorry, I can uh, oh, ribbon. No. I can ribbon them. Ribbon and then chop maybe. Yeah. We'll get creative. It'll be a one of a kind pasta salad for you today. So we love putting bell pepper into our pasta salad. It's fresh, it's got great nutrients, high in vitamin C and A, doesn't it, Arnold? Yep. And you know, now that it's gardening season, you can just pop that whole thing in the ground and see what seeds take, and who knows, maybe you'll have <laughs> peppers next year. a pepper by the end of the, the season. So we are going to chop these up, and that's, the hardest part about this recipe, if you even consider it hard, is you're just dicing the vegetables. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. And you could do jalapenos in it, make it spicy, but today we're just using bell pepper. And use pretty much, I know you already said that, but you really can just customize this. Use, use whatever works for you, really. Mm -hmm. Whatever color scheme you like. Yeah, I feel like I should be helping you chop at this point, considering now where we're <laughs> There's so much to chop. I can start peeling some carrots. Oh, man. We love, love, love. Like nice, organic carrots. So you only, and it doesn't even need a lot. Like, you could do two carrots, you could do one. A little bit of carrot goes a little bit high. Yeah. And if you remember correctly, well, for those who've been to our show every week, some carrots aren't originally orange. Isn't that crazy to think about? Mm. That's all they sell is orange carrots. But they were actually originally white. Yeah. That is loony. Hmm? That is loony. <laughs> loony. We add all those vegetables to the noodles. Yeah. yeah. To make the salad. Correct, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, oh, it's, it it's hardier than just a normal salad because it does have these noodles in it, which I love because it's a cold noodle dish basically. Yeah, yeah so tell we're us gonna... about the noodles, Catherine. So it'll still be a cold salad. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. It will be. So all these vegetables are going to be raw. We're not cooking any right, of them. Right. And, but we're going to cook the noodles and then I'm going to show you guys a trick to cool them down later in the show. But we're using a gluten-free brown rice pasta, which it says it has mostly carbohydrates in it, about five grams of protein, but 
We like to get the chickpea variety of gluten-free pasta at the store because it's higher in protein. So you're gonna get a high protein noodle mixed with raw vegetables and you have a really hearty salad. But if you really feel like you want to add even more protein to it, you could add a can of chickpeas or garbanzo or lentils, or lentils to yeah. it. I just like the noodle and fresh veg right now, mm. especially with summer, the way it with is. No meat. Right? No meat. No meat, right? No. Salad. So usually pasta salads uh, are the dressings made with mayonnaise and egg based mayonnaise. So we're not using that today. We're going to use something else. So I guess I could start making the sauce while you're preparing oh, the man. vegetables. So that you guys can understand what I'm talking about. Is that your wedding ring? Another table. Though. Oh. <laughs> Another table. Ta table's off. falling apart. <laughs> Okay. Too aggressive on the peeler, wasn't it? <laughs> the peeler didn't know what to do. Peeler guy. So I just like to use a measuring cup like this when I'm making my dressing so I know how much of each, each ingredient I'm adding to it, roughly. So today we're going to be using as our base, instead of mayonnaise, a coconut yogurt that is unflavored. So all that's in here is... Coconut. Where is the ingredients on this one? Oh, coconut water, tapioca, which is just a thickening agent, and vegan probiotic cultures. So it has lactobacillus in it, bifidobacterium. El bifto. El bifto, el bel, whatever that means. Just all fancy names for good gut bacteria that you usually get in yogurt, but it's added to a coconut base instead of a milk base. And so. I love this rendition of the recipe because mayonnaise, if it's like an olive oil or an avocado oil and mayonnaise, it's not the worst for you. It's got good ingredients in it, quality ingredients. There's store-bought mayonnaise that are all right. But this one, because it has the good gut bacteria in it, and we're not cooking it, it stays in it. It stays in the salad, which is really a great benefit of it. We got real mayonnaise in there. No, so, oh, keep instead going. Instead of Miracle Whip, like. Well, mm, you could use, like, if you're gonna use a mayonnaise, we, like, suggest the olive oil-based mayonnaise from the stores. Okay. But today we're using coconut yogurt because it's thick. See, it's thick like a mayonnaise. So it's gonna work well for our sauce. Okay. And it's unflavored. So it, it just smells like yogurt. Yeah. It smells like any regular yogurt. Very plain it'll take on all the spice, the flavor of the spices as well. So yeah, it'll the flavor the it's we're just using this because it's a thick creamy base, essentially. And it has I said I like this because there's no probiotics or prebiotics in yeah. But in yogurt, it has that, which yeah. I think is really... Which will help with digestion. Yes. Yeah. Help with digestion. Two, excuse me. Mm -hmm. They say two teaspoons of, table of, uh, of, pickle, of, of pickle juice, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You're not using the pickles, you're just using the juice. We're going to use the pickles, too. Oh, okay. We're going to... Th so that's, that's optional in this one. You can use cucumbers instead. But this recipe that my friend shared with me uses actual pickles in it. So we've got pickles from the store that is literally just cucumbers, water, salt, garlic, dill, spices, mustard seed, and then calcium chloride, which I'm pretty sure is just a normal preservative, like a sketchy one. But if you go to some stores, there's a lot of pickles that have a lot of funny business going a lot, on. Yeah, a lot. It's great because well, they're not just pickles. They they add like yellow dye 40. It's like why do we need that in our pickles? Why do I need my pickles to be dyed yellow? It's just a pickle. Like, I don't want that in there. So just, it's really important to read food labels. Because like even yogurts from the store can have weird ingredients yeah. in it. Where you're like, what is that? Why is that in there? What's that doing in there? Yeah, so we just, that's something else that we encourage in the show that even if you're not eating plant-based, it's really good to just read labels yeah. of food that you're buying from the store to know, make sure you know what you're putting in your body. Yep. 
Oh my gosh, we didn't even get to talk about the cauliflower. Go on, talk about it now. Then. I was extensively researching cauliflower this morning because I'm like, what is it, honestly? <laughs> and it's, I was like, oh, it's just a vegetable, right? Cauliflower is actually a flower. It's a giant flower mass and they call it a curd because it looks like a cheese curd. But honestly, like if you let a cauliflower as it is, keep blooming, it will turn into the seeds of the cauliflower. So we're actually, this is the flower that we're eating. Yeah, isn't that wild? I had to, I had to look at like three okay, different so articles. Yeah, so no, it's like it's not the fruit. they selectively bred the flowers yeah. to keep choosing the more dense flower and then over generations of doing it, it comes out with this that it is technically, they call it a vegetable, but really it's a flower. Yeah. At least that's what I took from what we learned. Yeah, that, it, that's exactly what they said. Yeah. So if you don't pick that, it will turn into a, seeds. It will turn into a flower. A basically. flowering, yeah. just open up. But you the green part too, don't you? Well, you can do. Yeah, I was going to say that. Yeah, I, yeah, I see that. Yeah, you can. Good in there too. You can eat this. Well, this is for our compost at home. Yeah, but these parts, I like these. The stem, I eat that raw usually. Yeah, go on, show them. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like a circus. Well, act. you got like a, you got you left that little piece oh, on yeah, there. Right. I'll, on. Eat, I'll eat after, not on the camera, not on camera. Oh, he's a bit of a Labrador when it comes to it. I don't know if our Labrador likes cauliflower. Yeah, he we does. fed it to him. So, so I usually don't like raw cauliflower i'm like eh, it's okay like i always if i if i have a dip with it that's fine but in this pasta salad Sorry. i love it it's got a nice crunch and then it just takes up all the sauce it's very good flavor and i'm like oh don't even notice it's there really oh, celery yeah. did you already put the noodles on yeah noodles did you on. put a timer yeah. on yeah as well with the carrots the celery in here goes a long way you you probably only need like Two ribs, really? Yeah. It probably needs a quick rinse. Quick rinse. I prefer the celery hearts than the actual celery yeah, at the store. Yeah. It's a little bit more expensive, but you get a lot more quality vegetable on there. And yeah, all the extra celery got more leaves. You know, yeah, and it, I've noticed that you, like the organic celeries from the store, like are a lot skinnier as well, and they go bad quicker. So we're just chopping that up, and I love the. So this is technically optional, but we're gonna add just a little bit of coconut oil in here. Well, I, I don't wanna add four tablespoons. Cause I thought I was gonna have to have more of it. This is already pretty thick. That is pretty thick. Yeah. So if you make like a homemade coconut yogurt instead and it's a bit thinner, like you didn't add tapioca to it, then you would probably have to add coconut oil, but I don't even think I need to add it today. No, I wouldn't. I think that's Because thick. that looks thick. All right, so scratch that, anyone that sees the recipe. Okay, and then we're gonna go for a quality mustard to add to the sauce now. So Dijon. Dijon. I love Dijon. This is just mustard seeds, vinegar, salt, well, natural flavoring, which is like- Get it uh, in. Turmeric. It's all just, it's techn all technically organic, so whatever. We like it. <laughs> There's worse out there. Just like, if you were, mustard is another one that we really encourage you to read the label because they'll just throw dyes in there and Sugar, random. preservatives. Yeah, because it, they're trying to make it shelf stable. Yeah. Oh, so I don't, you could measure out two tablespoons, but that would take about two tablespoons, isn't it? Ooh. Okay, so mix that in. You're going straight for the pickles. Oh, just get them out ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is no grater here. No, I'll just no, use okay. them. I'll no, just no pickles. Is they dill pickles or sweet pickles? Mm -hmm. These are dill. Baby kosher dill pickles. Kosher dill pickles. Yeah. yeah. Just the. So pickles are different than actually fermenting cucumbers. Pickles, pickling is when you just put the vegetable in Pickle vinegar. Ball. We're pickleball obsessed, just talking about it before it. And of course we're using pickles today, when we've just been playing pickle every day. So at home we like to grate the pickles, actually, because when we grate it, it goes, the flavor goes a lot further into every bite, but we'll just be dicing them today. And pickles are still good for you in vinegar, but if you ferment them, I'm pretty sure they're extra good for you. Probably for Okay, and the reason that we encourage to get a quality pickle for this recipe is because you are actually using the brine in the sauce 
So you want to make sure you're not just adding like dyes and stinky pickle water. To yeah. So I think it's about two tablespoons of that. Yeah, I'm gonna check to make sure. Yeah. Uh, is this too many pickles? It's kind of like a whatever you have in your fridge sauce, isn't it? <laughs> At this point. Well, that's what this salad is for, really, whatever you've got. Yeah. Well, I said two to four pickles, so what do you think? I think ratio-wise, you can just kind of evaluate what we've got going on. You never want too much of any one of the vegetables to be taking over the dish. Yeah. So you want to just be like, mm, okay, I've got like a nice amount of cauliflower to carrot ratio to pepper to everything going on. smell nice. Yeah. We're going to get some honey in it for some sweetness because we think a good sauce has a bit of spice, a bit of sweet, a bit of acid, a little bit salty. A little bit salty. Beautiful. Okay, and I think I put a little, I'm going to put a little bit of extra vinegar in it maybe. Close to done. Like this is like a massive apple cider vinegar. We encourage you to get the apple cider vinegar with mother in it. This one doesn't have that, but it's okay. We've got the ferments in the, in the yogurt. Any more chopping? More mm. chopped out? Double check the pickles, celery, carrots, pepper, cauliflower. Okay, no, just it. corn and peas. And here's the finished salad. <laughs> you could have given that I'm away as a snack. Okay. Yeah. We'll add a little bit of salt, sea salt specifically. A little bit of onion powder. You love seasons, don't you? A little bit of this, a little bit of that. You always seem to get a nice ratio yeah. of seasons. Sometimes I like to put raw red onion in it, oh, yeah, but that can nice be a bit things. overwhelming of a flavor. But I think that spring onions, now that they're all Going very crazy. abundant, the spring onions right now, that would be good in there as well. Yeah, oh yeah, very good. Just a little bit of garlic. Oh, I don't know what that is. I guess this has a little bit of parsley in it. <laughs> okay. A little bit of smoked paprika. Mm. You can customize this all just for whatever you, you fancy. We like a bit of cayenne, a little spice in there. And then we'll give it a mix. Give it a mix and see where we're at. I like the smoked paprika either. Mm -hmm. It matches, like if you're doing a barbecue, yeah, pasta really salads good. with barbecue meat or really good, mushrooms man. or whatever you're grilling is so good. And this, the smoke will complement your grilled food. Mm. And what I like about past this pasta, maybe all pasta salad, but definitely this, is it gets better when you leave it in the fridge overnight. Yeah, because the spices they integrate all, with the yogurt and cream then it all, And then the vegetables break down yeah. a little bit, like the cauliflower. It will do that anyway, because the vinegar in there. Give that a lick. That's good. I think that's pretty seasoned already. Now, can I ask you a question? Ooh. Yeah. Is this salad good for diabetics? Mm -hmm. uh, I would have thought so. Yeah, it doesn't have any. It doesn't have much sugar in. No, it's except, just for, honey. except for honey. And you don't even have to include the honey in it. But honey. And then you've obviously got the sugars in the vegetables. But how is the noodles doing, honey? Sugar. I, I think plant-based. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. It's definitely going to help. It's a good question to ask. Yeah, it's good to all the seasons and things you're putting in there. Uh huh. Oh, that's what seasoning? Okay, that. I put onion. Yeah. I put this is a garlic powder, right, so but it somehow yeah. has a little bit of parsley in it, which isn't bad. Okay. Sea salt. So we believe in using sea salt or Redmond's salt because it's a natural salt. It's not a refined salt. I have a lot of diabetics eat salads. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I think it will. It doesn't have, like. It's not going to spike your yeah. blood sugar. So. Yeah. yeah. Smoked paprika. Cayenne is actually really yeah. good for blood it's, flow right. in yeah, it's your not heart. Not really a salty, a salty seasoning. No, no, it's not. We don't not like to over that. salt every okay. thing. Okay. Not too much salt. Yeah. No. And then I don't even think this is that. This has the pickles have a bit of salt right. in them, but don't overdo it. Okay, so I'm gonna wait to put this dressing on for a minute. How much longer do you think the noodles have? Did you try them? Yeah, about two minutes. About two minutes. So you want me to add these? So. Um, the trick that I'm going to teach you guys today, which I think is so fun, is that if you use frozen corn and peas, one or the other, or both, 
After you boil the noodles, you drain them, add the frozen vegetable, and it will cool your noodles for you in real time and defrost your vegetables for you. Mm. So it's like a, a two in one. I thought you were going to do that the deal. other way around. I thought you were going to add those to that and defrost them all together, but no. that's what better, isn't it? Yeah, because it defrosts the noodles very... It <laughs> cools down the noodles really quickly yeah. and, and defrosts your, your vegetables. Win-win. It's a win-win because other than that, you drain the noodles, you got to pour a bunch of cold water on it, and so then you're like using more water than you need to you use. Need to, yeah. So this is like... I came up with this the other day and I was absolutely buzzing because okay. I hate Game using changer. a lot of extra water and it doesn't and then if you feel like it needs to cool down a little bit more then you can use like a cup of water but you're not overdoing I'll it put it in the fridge so do you want to measure these out put them in a separate bowl mm, sure we can put them in this sure. bowl here and then you want to put another bowl yeah for sure. oh yeah that's a nice little one i think it's about a cup of each yeah yeah get them in that you can also add mushrooms to this salad if you like mushrooms. Mm -hmm. You can add pretty much whatever you want, honestly. It's like very good. Yeah, instead of the salad, you stir it. Yeah, we get, I've just stirred that a little bit, and then when we've got the noodles in there, we'll add the sauce, and then mm -hmm. stir it all around. It. But this honestly can be as simple or complicated as you want. You honestly could. I made this one time. I made like a pasta salad the other day that was really just peas and corn and noodles so oh, yeah, that was, uh, simple, and it was still was really it? simple it and still it was still good. really good so we didn't use that. It was enjoyable. Alright. Well any questions? Any You've been asking a lot of great questions. Yeah, you have a lot, a lot of good questions. We've got probably another minute or so on these. Mm -hmm. we, all... we knew the noodles were gonna be the waiting game portion of it. Oh yes. Yeah. It's okay. I like a little bit more of a tough noodle person. Done. Honey, the grater was up there. What? Oh, no. <laughs> the colander was up out. there as well. There's oh. a colander. Well, they're definitely on the al dente side, so, but that's fine. Do you guys like tougher? I mean, who likes a mushy noodle? No. <laughs> no, but I don't think anyone likes a mushy noodle. It's a soggy noodle. It's I don't Okay. Where are you guys from again? Because I said Looney because the Looney Tunes and oh, yeah, yeah. the duck, or the, the, the... Daffy Duck is not the Looney Tunes. The, the, the Bugs you Bunny. Bugs Bunny. Because you the carrots when you're talking about the oh, yeah, yeah, different yeah, colored yeah. carrots. I thought maybe that they wanted to promote carrots as orange because of the television show. Maybe. I can maybe. see it. I, I don't... But it also, the orange carrot is a good source of beta carotene in it. So like, yeah. there's different colored cauliflowers. There's an orange cauliflower that gives you beta carotene and a purple colored cauliflower that helps as well. So yeah. You're using a lot of protein food. Yeah, yeah. definitely. see that. A lot of nutrient rich food. The vegetables, we have got that blood protein. Mm. Good. Yeah, it's, yeah. cauliflower's got a lot of phytonutrients in it because yeah. When plants are growing and they're channeling all of their energy into flowering, then that flowering part has the most nutrients mm -hmm. in it. So like when a plant's growing just its leaves, the leaves are the most nutrient dense, but when it's growing the flowers, the flower is the most nutrient dense yeah. part. And then like at the end, usually like the fruit is the most nutrient dense part, like the cucumber is obviously the fruit of it. So that's still a little bit steamy steamy, but... So what do you want to do? I don't know. Well, is it cooling down? I kind of have to let it sit for a minute. It did cool it down a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely cooled it down a bit. Okay. I'm just give it a little bit more time. I think I forgot to tell you as well that I I, I do this in the colander. Oh, no, 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 no. So case, then you can pour water over Just in case, you know. Do we, we could do we that could real do fast. That, yeah. you, are you okay with that? For like five minutes or three minutes. Or put it in, the, uh... in the freezer? Maybe, yeah, I don't know, maybe the fridge for a little bit longer. I don't well, know. Well, if they just pour it, okay. <laughs> so that's what we used to do when we would cook pizza for the little kids, we'd throw it in the freezer right after the lunch. Yeah. Oh, so you, cool. so you, yeah, I guess that would have been a good question. Who's here has made pasta salad already? You've made it before? No, no, I made uh, pizza, like Jack's, for uh, little cousins, but it was too hot for them to eat. Oh, so then you put it in the freezer. Yeah, yeah nothing is worse than a pizza upper lip burn, you know, and it gets on that like root of your yeah. mouth. It's horrendous. Yeah, especially 
Yeah. They're like, what's happening? Is there any type of lip burn that's good? Um, Is that good? You want more? I will be fine. Get it in. It's kind of like a room temperature salad, but if you want it cold, you know how to do it. Okay. That's not definitely good to mix up and drink. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like blend it up? Like a blender. It yeah, looks like it could that. be like a Bloody Mary mix. Is that yeah. what you mean? Yeah. yeah. I can for a see person that. to have drink, you know, drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it. You yeah. could turn all yeah. of that into a juice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be an interesting juicing recipe. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah I could see it in the smoothie, sure. Yeah. Again. Go for it. It honestly oh, looks like a Bloody Mary mix. Now that <laughs> it does, yeah. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It does, yeah. I never liked Bloody Marys. I was so uncomfortable with Come on. They were like just uncomfortable. I just I guess I've never really liked just tomato juice. Really? Yeah. So then adding alcohol doesn't Nowhere in the world difference. does Bloody Marys like But I like America tomato soups. With the bacon in it and that. The bacon and cheese. Control. It's ridiculous. Our control. There you go. Get that in there. Okay. And then I still need the spatula for it. That's why I got the spatula out was for the sauce. Thanks, Ben. This is just a massive amount of food. Every time we make it, we've got food for that night and the next day. So it's a many heads recipe, as we like to say in our household. It feeds many heads. So what did you mix in right there? This is the sauce. That was the sauce that oh, we just made with the, the yogurt. Yeah. You got it right here. It's the creamy sauce. Yeah. 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 Creamy sauce with the mustard and pickle juice and seasonings. Oh, good, good. All right, now we have to somehow <laughs> Crack I feel like we we, we may even need more sauce, but it's too Maybe. late now. It's too late. No, you'll be good. It will. Uh, you'll be surprised how much is pressed through. I'm always surprised. When I, do that. I have a bigger bowl at home. We could have got, we could have got a bigger it's bowl. There's a big one over there. But it's okay, honey. Should have thought that through, shouldn't I? It's like a game. To oh. <gasps> It's like a game to not spill anything. Spill something right away before she even finishes her sentence. I think it would be easier to mix with a spoon. Mm, I could see more sauce being needed, but do we have yogurt? No, we only bought a set amount of yogurt. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. It'll still, the vegetables add so much flavor to it. Feel free to make more sauce at home if you want it, but. I think we added more vegetables than we usually do as well. Scale recipe as well, isn't it? I'm mm -hmm. certain. From the mirror here, it looks like a stir fry. Yeah. Yeah, it is a bit like It does look really fry. creamy. And almost, it's like the fridge buster. Whatever you have in your fridge, just get it in a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> and it what just do you think? works out. I think that looks pretty well mixed. It's definitely well mixed. I'm going to get, I'm going to use the spoon to get a bit down the middle of it. But. That's why I was saying you can blend it in there. Now. That's why you, when you ready to go work over here, you got to get no bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah just grab it. <laughs> I can see that. You know, I definitely, I definitely <laughs> try it. You would try it. I would definitely I would try definitely that. Not. I don't see you trying it. What? I, I, I'd do that. Yeah. I mean, this is a hefty amount of food right here. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you want to sure. present it in that bowl, or do you yeah, want to present it in a smaller bowl? This bowl. All right. Now. It's very heavy, like. How much do you think that amount? Of food in that bowl cost using the portions of the ingredients and the stuff. Um, mm -hmm. It's pretty affordable. Probably somewhere in the region of. Come on, Mr. Math. Seventeen to twenty dollars, I'd say. The food in the bowl, or what you have left as well. Oh, with that, with what we've got left, yeah. Okay, yeah, because you could do the. Because you got the. the I mean, you the, still. I'm just saying, I'll give you. How many carrots and celery? You got. <laughs> That, that, you got a lot left, so. Oh, that's family size. Oh, yeah, yeah. Family yeah, yeah. Family yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 There you go. All right. Go okay. Yeah, that's family Yo, this will feed. It's so colorful, too. This is, like, such an easy yeah. way to make sure that you're eating the rainbow in a day, getting, like, a good variety of nutrients. So, We go straight every right. utensil in the world. Well, who yeah. thinks they can make a pasta salad this summer now? Yeah, it was so yeah. simple. Yeah. It was, I mean, that took us no time at all. Half an hour. You're only cooking the Dish noodles. Yeah. 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 There you go. It's so simple. Wonderful. Well, we all encourage right, you, you to guys. take this recipe and put your own spin on it. Try different thicknesses, creaminesses, 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 different spices, <laughs> all the various methodologies and find one that suits you. Mm. And then 
That's the summer's here, just make it every week, really. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're going to be doing. Yeah, it's so yes. easy. It's keeps so your easy. house cool, keeps your palate cool, make yeah. sure you're eating lots of fresh vegetables. So. Wonderful. Well, this recipe is available on the website, mm -hmm. feelbetterliving.com as always. We appreciate you watching. Mm -hmm. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Much love. Thank Peace. you, guys. Cool. All right. We'll give this Robert and Trace in. We'll start. Yeah. Thank you to all of our show sponsors and supporters who make this show possible. The Healthcare Foundation of Laporte, Grace Learning Center, Citizens Concerned for the Homeless, and ALCO, Access Laporte County. We appreciate all of your support.